congratulations on purchasing your new HD digital TV antenna. We've prepared this video to help you get better acquainted with your antenna. To avoid confusion or misuse, watch the video to the end and refer to it in the future. What's in the box? Let's start by going over the device. The antenna, the 18-foot coaxial cable, the external amplifier, the anti-in or cable-in output, the USB power cable, the USB power adapter, the antenna. This is the main component for receiving a digital signal from a TV tower. It can reach up to 250 miles and can be placed almost anywhere in your home. A little later, we'll tell you how to set it up for the first time. The 18-foot coaxial cable allows you to get the best possible reception from the amplified antenna, especially for customers whose televisions are quite far away from windows. The external amplifier filters out cellular and FM signals, resulting in a cleaner picture and minimal noise. This means access to more free broadcast TV signals with enhanced gain, range, and frequency performance. Please note that the smart switch control should be set to short range if you live within 35 miles of a broadcast tower. The ANT-IN or cable-IN output allows you to connect your antenna to your television. The USB power cable is the industry standard interface for data transfer and power connection. The USB power adapter is supplied in case your TV doesn't have USB ports. This special power supply adapter can be used to plug the USB power cable into an electrical outlet. How to set up your digital TV antenna. Connect the coaxial cable from the amplifier to the cable and in port on the back of your television. For TVs that require a tuner box, connect the coaxial cable from the amplifier to the tuner box cable and in port. Plug the USB cable directly into an open USB port on the back of your TV. If no USB port is available, use the supplied power adapter to power the amplifier through any standard 110 volt outlet. Find the best reception by experimenting with different antenna locations in your house. Usually, the best place is a window nearest the nearest broadcast tower. Place it as high as possible, facing the tower. The logo side of the device should face toward the inside of your home. After moving the antenna, we scan for channels. Do this until you find the highest number of channels possible. You should not use the 3M stickers until you find the ideal location for your antenna. To scan for channels, first enter your TV's menu and set the scan type to Antenna or Air. Then use the Channel Search or Channel Scan function to look for channels. Please refer to your TV manual for more specific channel scanning instructions. Tips for better TV signal reception. Signal reception and quality depend on the distance between your home and the broadcast tower. Placing the antenna so that it faces the tower is usually best. Signal strength varies based on several conditions, including distance from the tower, hills, buildings, and even tall trees. Place the antenna as high as possible. Remember to always re-scan for channels after moving the antenna. Interference from electronics and electrical equipment can impact reception. Avoid mounting the antenna near home electronic devices, such as refrigerators, air conditioners, microwave ovens, and the like. If the nearest TV tower is located within 35 miles of your house, we recommend switching the range toggle to the short range position. Otherwise, use long range. If you aren't receiving a signal with the switch set to long range position, then switch it to short range and try again. In some instances, the long range setting may cause self oscillation, which can interfere with the signal. Your antenna can alternatively be placed outside for better reception. We highly recommend regularly rescanning for channels through your television settings. Your antenna constantly searches for new channels as they're made available for broadcast. Frequently asked questions. How do I check channel availability in my area? Can my antenna pick up cable channels? Only free broadcast TV channels are available. We recommend the immensely helpful resource at FCC.gov forward slash media forward slash engineering forward slash DTV maps to see which channels are available in your area. Will the picture be better than cable? In general, your picture quality should greatly improve using your TV digital antenna. All cable companies compress their HD broadcasts, resulting in a degraded signal that's usually inferior to ATSC broadcast. 
However, many factors impact your picture quality, and in certain instances, it may not be significantly better. Will all the channels I receive be high definition, HD? Not all digital signals are high definition, HD. Make sure you're using a high definition television, HD TV, with a built-in ATSC tuner. When connecting the antenna to a third-party receiver, make sure it's capable of receiving HD. Otherwise, no HD channels will be picked up. Which side of the antenna should be placed against the wall? The side with the logo should face into your home, and the side without the logo should face the broadcast tower. How do I mount the antenna? First, before mounting the antenna, test its position by scanning for channels. Once you're sure you've found the best place, use the 3M stickers included in the kit to place your antenna on the wall or window. How do I scan for channels? Your TV setup menu should have a scanning option. Check your TV manual for detailed instructions. How do I switch between short and long range? There is a toggle switch located on the amplifier itself to switch between long range and short range. Should I connect both the coaxial cable and the USB plug to the TV? Yes, you should connect both. If you do not have an available USB port on your television, then use the supplied power adapter to power the amplifier through any standard 112 volt outlet. For TVs that require a tuner box, connect the coaxial cable from the amplifier to the tuner box cable and in port. TVs produced after 2010 generally do not have this problem. Can the antenna be connected to two TVs? No, you need one antenna for each television. Can the antenna be placed outside? Yes. Does bad weather affect signal reception? Yes, inclement weather may influence the channel's reception. Can the antenna be painted? No, any physical modification to the antenna, including painting, may damage the device. How can I connect the antenna with a digital media player, such as a Fire TV stick? You can connect both devices to your TV, but please be aware that they cannot be used simultaneously. You will need to switch between your antenna and digital media player in your TV settings. How do I connect my antenna to my satellite dish? Your antenna connects to your TV, not to your satellite dish. Your dish system and your antenna can work separately on the same TV, but they cannot be used simultaneously. You will need to switch between your antenna and your dish in your TV settings. Troubleshooting. If you have difficulties with a weak signal, frozen picture or sound, incomplete picture, a limited number of channels or missing channels, follow the following checklist. Check the connection between your antenna and your HDTV or third-party HD receiver. Rescan for channels. Enter your TV's menu and set the scan type to antenna or air. Then select the channel scan function. For detailed instructions, consult your TV manual. If your amplifier is set to long range, switch to short range. If it is set to short range, switch to long range. Rescan for channels. Reposition the antenna to a different location. Try a better position in your house. If possible, we recommend near a window or high on a wall. Usually it's best if the antenna faces the nearest broadcast tower. Keep in mind, moving just a few feet can make a large difference. Try turning the antenna 10 or 20 degrees in either direction. Then rescan for channels. And don't forget to always rescan for channels after moving the antenna. Move your antenna away from any large electronic devices, such as an air conditioner, microwave oven, etc. This will avoid potential interference. Try installing the antenna outside and rescan for channels. For TVs produced before 2009, you need to buy a digital converter box. The box will receive a signal from our antenna, convert it to HDTV, and send it to your TV. Otherwise, our antenna will not work with TVs produced before 2009. Thank you for watching. Should you have any difficulties with the setup process or any questions about the device, we're always happy to help you. Please email or give us a call Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Time.